Oh, hello. My name is Dallin. The name of the act is I Don't Know How But They Found Me. The name of the song slash music video is Downside. And the visuals for this music video were inspired by a couple of different things. Mainly it was inspired by the version of Sesame Street that was on TV when I was a kid. Uh, that was the 80s, and they would rerun a lot of, of the uh, experimental animations and stop motion stuff that uh, they had broadcast in the 10 years prior, however long it had been on TV, they would rerun a lot of older stuff. But those visuals stuck with me long beyond the time that I graduated from that form of entertainment. But that's how they would teach you about letters and numbers and all of those very helpful things that I still use on a day-to-day -day basis. It was also inspired not only by Jim Henson and company and the, those sorts of stop-motion videos that they did, but also this 1952 uh, short film called Neighbors, where two gentlemen argue over a property line uh, and a flower that's growing in the ground. It's all very, it's very silly, but uh, visually very striking. So I wanted to do that uh, in the music video. Since everyone in the music video, spoiler alert, is me, I had to jump around from instrument to instrument. So I thought, why not try to utilize that same kind of visual style and uh, DIY vibes that they were doing. If you notice throughout the video, and like I, I might have like the top of my head cut off or a foot or a leg or something when those things overlap. And that's very much done on purpose. I, I thought it was part of the charm, I think, to, to lead that stuff in. Because those imperfections would have existed back then, you know, when, uh, when Jim Henson and company were making that stuff. They don't have the access uh, to the kind of technology we did, but uh, I bet you could imagine what it'd be like if they did. What, what, oh what, was my favorite music video to make? I enjoyed all of them, but for different reasons. I've never enjoyed making music videos before this album. But I've gotten to make a few, and each one of them was enjoyable in their own right. What Love was a lot of fun because my partner, my missus, was there. Um, she's got a lot of acting experience under her belt, and... Uh, she, she helped me on set sort of be patient through the day with the process, which is a difficult thing for me. But because she was there, I, I actually really enjoyed making the video for What Love. And then for Infatuation, one of my oldest friends directed that video, someone who I trust emphatically with creative decisions because we've known each other for so long. He knows what my proclivities are for what I like to see visually, and I know what his style is when it comes to visuals and editing and all that stuff and I totally trust that man. Uh, Matt Glass is his name and he's an Emmy, win Emmy winning gentleman and I'm, I'm proud to have known him for as long as I have and very thankful that he did that video. So that was fun and then the video for Downside I really enjoy how that one turned out. It was very difficult to shoot. Uh, it left me battered and bruised at the end of the day but uh, totally worth it. I love how it turned out, and uh, I, I think it's going to be on my list of favorites for a long, long time.